friends, welcome back to my channel. It's time for us to talk about a new type of project that I'm going to start doing on my channel. I don't know about you guys, but maybe you have noticed that I've noticed that since doing my Finish 14 for Valentine's Day, I have not uploaded or started a new challenge. And it's because I've kind of gotten bored of doing the challenges with like the different number of products and the different deadlines and blah, 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 blah. And I was thinking to myself, like, wouldn't it just be better if I, similar to my project pans, just actually started doing more of like a rolling type of, I'm just constantly trying to work through as many things as I can and not being limited or confined to different types of challenges. And that's when I decided that I thought it would be fun to do a finish six in six and carry that throughout the rest of the year. And basically what I'm thinking that should include is I would pull six products and try to use them up in six weeks. So basically we're talking like on average a product a week and basically do a three week update and then a six week final update and then select another round of six items. Hopefully I can get all six used up in six weeks, but if not, they probably would just roll over and I'd bring in some other items to add up to six. I feel like it would just be interesting to see like how some items might take longer than six weeks and if so, how long they actually take and just gives you more of like a real time, here's how I'm working on things versus just like confined periods of time. Um, I don't know, hopefully you're excited about this when you're hearing this for the first time. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other like suggestions of things you guys wanna see in regards to like body care. If you want me to do like a new collection of showing you guys what's actually in the hoarding closet, it's been, I think, two or three years since I've done that. Let me know in the comments below, but let's go ahead and get into the six products that I have pulled for this challenge. So the first thing that I have is my Twisted Peppermint Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. I picked this up because I constantly hear about this scent as one of the staple scents along with like Winter Candy Apple and like Snowball Coconut and those typical ones that always come back, um, Vanilla Bean Noel, all of those. But I had never actually used this before and I have like a love-hate with this scent. I kind of like it on cold and I kind of like it on my body when I use it in the shower, but I also kind of don't. It's really just not my typical scent profile. It reminds me of like a toned down version of Thin Mints from Girl Scout Cookies. I don't know. So I figured just putting it in this project will actually get me to want to use it on a more regular basis versus picking the other body wash that I have in my shower and I'm nearly done with. So this is my starting line. You guys have seen me go through body wash time and time again. I honestly don't know how long it takes me to use a body wash that is this full. So I'll be curious to see if it takes me six weeks or less than to use. I also have a shampoo, which I've never actually brought into a challenge before, but this is the Champagne Fizz shampoo from organics this I love the scent of but I whipped through the conditioner so fast and this shampoo has lasted forever um, the packaging on it is really not ideal because the shampoo itself is really thick and so I literally have to smack it and it like sloshes down to the bottom which I've never used this type of shampoo before. Is that normal? Like, what is happening? But either way, it is just holding on by a thread and it just can't seem to get used up. So I wanna go ahead and focus on it. I don't have a lot left in the actual container, but I don't need to use a lot of this shampoo. So I'm really hoping and horrified that it may take me six more weeks to use, but I'm really just curious to see how it goes. I love the scent of this, like I said, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to get used up. I'm also bringing in the current lotion that I'm working on. This is the Sensual Amber Body Lotion with Vitamin E, Jojoba, and Shea Butter from Bath & Body Works. This, I actually used to love this kind of scent, and then I overindulged on it and got really sick of it. And so when I had it in my closet, I've been avoiding it because I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But then I was like, why don't you just pull it back out and smell it? Because you're down to like only so many bottles like this with the pump on it. And I have to say, I have come back around to it. It really is a nice scent. It's really relaxing to use at night. Um, I'm about halfway on the bottle, which I'm pretty happy with. I am mixing this with various different types of body oils, so that way it's giving me enough moisture while we're in the winter. But if I can manage to get through this in the next six weeks, I'll be in a really good position. Uh, I know I've kind of only really worked on two of these types of lotions this winter, but that's better than the no lotions that I managed to work on last winter. And I know it's gonna be a long haul for these types of lotions in my collection, but I do still wanna make a point 
to try to use as many as I can. The next thing that I have is a rollover from my Finish 14 by Valentine's Day. It's the Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream. In classic fashion, I've really not been using this as steadily as I should have because it was not any project, so I had no one to hold me accountable. So I don't have a lot left in here, but as you can see, since finishing up the project about a month ago, I haven't really made much progress. So hopefully trying to finish this up. I have um, this one and two more, one of which I'd already worked on previously and like forgot about and then found again. I would like to get that one and this one used up before winter is over because this stuff is only getting older and while it is mostly natural and Burt's Bees stuff does have a pretty good shelf life, uh, in my opinion, it can't last forever and I'd like to get these used up. The other rollover item that I have from that project is the Dickinson's Enhanced Witch Hazel Toner. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that I can get this done in the next six weeks. If I can, it will really help my toner collection because this is by far the biggest one, which is why I had been avoiding it for so long. I knew it would take me a while to use. And um, I think I started working on it in the fall and we're still here, but we're plugging away steadily. This is my starting mark, that bottom line down there. And so if I can get it used up, it'll be great. It will not be the last toner that you see me try to use this year, but hopefully I can get through a good chunk of them. I'm still not fully converted to using toner, even though I've been using it now for probably almost a year and a half. Um, but I just want to use things up in my collection. The last item that I have is a two for one special and I will explain why. It is the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Cleansing Milk with the number seven beautiful skin makeup remover. These have to be a two for one special because they have to be used together in order for me to be successful in what I'm trying to achieve. So this cleansing milk is supposed to be able to allegedly remove makeup and impurities without stripping skin of its natural moisture barrier. Skin is left feeling calmed and smooth, suitable for sensitive skin. Now, this sucker bought this because it smells like roses and I've been having like a weird obsession with rose scented things as of late. So I grabbed this, even though I'm not someone who typically removes my makeup with a cleansing milk, I wanted to give this a try to actually do that because I'm officially out of makeup wipes. And when I tried to use this to remove my makeup, this did not do the job. It really, is unable to remove makeup effectively on my face, especially eye makeup. It can remove face makeup, but like what on earth can't remove face makeup in this day and age? So I can't use this alone. So then I was like, well, let me just try this as my makeup remover because even though it can do cleansing and makeup removing at the same time, I don't trust that. I would just double cleanse, which I didn't realize was a thing until someone explained to me what that was. And I was like, all this time I've been doing double cleansing and just never knew. But I went to use this and this oddly, 75% removes your makeup. What I mean by that is when I go to like rub it on my eyes, which also fun fact, this does not make my contacts get all like clunky and uh, hazy. It doesn't cling to my contacts, which is a nice bonus. But what happens is it melts your makeup off and you get like these heavy like raccoon panda eyes where it's basically like stuck on your skin. Now normally people go, well, no big deal, it will just wash off, but alas, it does not wash off. I can't get that residue of basically my mascara and my eyeliner, which has been melted by the cleanser, then off of my skin, which is where this comes in. This on its own can't strip my eyes of the mascara itself, but when it's been broken down a bit by this, it's able to remove it. So. I don't like either one of these individually and I don't like having used them in tandem. So once these two things are gone, I will not repurchase them and I would not recommend them. This one, just the scent pulled me in. This one came in a little kit. Wasn't the reason why I bought the kit. So they're being used together. Clearly they're not gonna be used up at the same exact time, but I just wanna use them and hopefully this will go away really fast and then I can just pull out like any kind of makeup remover. And then once this is used up, I will never again purchase it because it just is not good. Whew, that was a long tangent, but we got through it. All right, guys, that is it for my first six products. I will leave the projected dates of when I'm gonna do my three-week update and when I'm gonna do my six-week update. It may not be an exact science because Thursday is officially my like project pan, use it up kind of product days on my channel, but I will put them down below. That way we can be held accountable for me to actually upload these on time. But that is it for me. Let me know your thoughts about this new style challenge that I'm doing, and I'll talk to you in the next video real soon.